everyone. Thank you so much for watching. This is A Touch of Tarot. This is going to be a detailed reading of your person's energy right now. And I'll tell you, it's not shocking what comes out, but it's shocking that it came out. I'm sorry I have the cards in such a weird um, position, but honestly, I was going through this for so long and I realized I just have to give you this reading from the heart because the Nostradamus deck that I'm using is so complex and even to read from the book to you, it would be too confusing, okay? So I'm going to give you um, the message I'm picking up from the heart, from all of the information I've already gathered here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you would like a reading like this, this would be called the Nostradamus Alchemist reading, and it will be on my website. I just have to put it up there because I find this is so interesting. It's only five cards. I did pull clarification for myself on my own time, um, but it's so interesting. Okay, so if you would like this simple reading, let me know. So I didn't ask a question. I allowed the cards to tell us what we would be discussing, okay? But the first message, the first card represents the situation underlying the problem. So it's not really telling us the problem, which I found so interesting. It's telling us what's underlying the problem. We have the world in reverse. Of course, I naturally assumed it's the Ace of Cups at first in reverse, so I'm like, oh, there's a lack of love. No, there's not a lack of love. This talks about someone, and I'll tell you, the characteristics of this person is someone who is wholeheartedly a great person, okay? Like energetically, people would probably speak very highly of this person because they've done a lot for their community or for people around them, for their world, whether it be family, friends, colleagues, they have done a lot, okay? And this person is looked at as a king. This person has started from the bottom. I keep on hearing that gutter word. It comes up so much when it comes to our people. So I'm wondering if maybe a lot of these masculines and feminines have gone through just so much through the ringer is what I'm hearing. So for the world card to come up representing the situation underlying the problem, the main theme here is stagnancy. Obviously, right? It's a general loss of a vision. It's plans made that are coming to nothing. And I don't believe that plans were made with this person that are coming to nothing. I believe that this person is having trouble wondering what to do moving forward now because they're realizing they've put a lot of work into something and it could be so many things, right? It looks like it's so many things. They put a lot of work into it and now they're hanging on to it. Whether it's something they love, whether it's just a partnership, I feel like it's more friends, um, a, like a friendship now involved here that they can't even release because they're stuck in it. Okay, and now they don't know what to do. Let's talk about this a little more. Um, so we become mirrored in a bog of our own creation and cannot find the way out. This also talks about neglecting obligations. This talks about failure to complete tasks you have set out for yourself and bringing a journey to an end. Um, there's nowhere to go without help is the last sentence of this card. But interestingly enough, I feel that this is also an energy of the masculine, or your person, I should say, um, who has made promises with you, and they're not able to fulfill them right now, right? Because they're stuck working, and that really is the energy that's coming up. So let's move on to the second, because this car these messages unfold so beautifully. So the second card, Two of Pentacles, um, two of Spears, it talks about the emotional weight of the problem and the effect it, have, it has on the solution. So what effect is the Two of Spears having on this? So although the essential meaning of this card, Two of Spears, is hindrance, blockage, distraction, and worry, Paradoxically, its inter interpretation focuses on the success and wealth that comes from the fantastic energy of the ace. This grows out of simple human problem. You may be successful, full of bounty and well-being, but find out that this all requires a lot of attention and time to sustain. This is 
like so in depth for us right now because the honest truth is I do feel your person used to fully enjoy what they had created, what they had made, but they did not realize that this takes a lot of their time and energy to sustain. They cannot just walk away from whatever this situation is. To be honest, I'm not seeing a karmic, but in the end you'll see why it could, whatever it is, whatever it is, is something that they were at one point very passionate about or many different things, right? Because there's so many people here that depend on this masculine from what I'm picking up. Uh, let's just get a couple more words here. Um, worry and inconsistent results. And when I clarified it, we did get these energies, the three of wands. I feel like this person is so tied. They cannot just be free and do what they want anymore. And where it was once enjoyable, this person is no longer enjoying this. Um, I got further clarification. It shows like the demise of this energy. It can be a water sign, a fire sign. It's really someone who's passionate regardless. And I also see that all that they were doing now at this point um, was walking away, walking away from any love that you may have offered them. Okay. Because it talks about the emotional weight of the problem. The problem took such an emotional weight on them. They no longer could accept the divine feminine's love. And you know, okay? so for the third card now, this represents the aspect of the problem. Okay, way upon preventing you from finding a solution. Okay, so this is actually the Knight of Cups. And it gets interesting, I got to say, because what this is about is the ultimate rock, the ultimate friend, the ultimate guide. This is where anyone, um, anyone who knows this person knows they can trust them, knows they can count on them. It's really, really interesting. This person is an idealist dreamer who charms people and they find it hard to resist them. Um, a sense of otherworldly glamour hangs around your person in the eyes of people around them. Okay, and I mean, that's a lot, right? That's a lot. This person has found themselves with the King of Swords clarifying it and the Ten of Pentacles in a power of very heavy position, very heavy, in a position of very heavy power. And they don't want to lose that. And it's not even that they don't want to lose it. It's that they have so, I'm hearing mouths to feed, but they have so many people around them that count and trust on them. Remember, it goes back to the two of pentacles where this person was very abundant and they didn't realize they were going to get themselves in a situation that actually requires nonstop time and attention to sustain. Okay, it's really, it's like sad and interesting all at the same time. So the fourth card here, which is really interesting um, we have the hidden force that is at play in the situation, which this person may not be aware of. And it is temperance. And it's really, really interesting, especially with the clarification. But let me read what the temperance card is about in this book, okay? Um, this card is all about moderating behavior, tempering your life, balancing the past and future streams of activity. Remember, this person has brought so much in, and I feel like they still currently work on it. And this is part of the reason it's just so hard on them, okay? Um, but what's interesting here, let me see. Whether work or love related, oh, sorry, I skipped a little. This also points to the wisdom of keeping things moving, of allowing a good exchange of ideas and feelings in any situation, whether work or love related. And the part that I love here is this shouldn't, however, be confused with a need to be in partial motion to act impulsively. Rather, it shows that sometimes it's best to do nothing to allow the problem to work itself out. So what I am getting for guidance, even to you, the viewers, but more to the person we're looking into um, is really it's okay that they're getting stressed out or they're they don't know what to do because there are higher efforts being made by huge 
spiritual forces on the outside, bringing healing and balance to this. And sometimes you really, all you can do, high priestess clarified first, then I asked for two more and got the tower and the sun. Sometimes all you can do is allow for things to kind of come down on their own, which will lead to a beautiful new beginning, a beautiful new day. Um, so that's really interesting. If you ask me, that caught my attention because it's the hidden forces and the hidden forces is the help that this person needs. It says this person cannot move forward from this point on without help. And I don't believe the help, sorry, I don't believe the help is from the divine feminine. It is from higher forces at play here. Okay. So the last card plain and simply represents the outcome. Um, it just, it even just says that. Now, this is the part that kind of ties everything together where you can figure out what this means for your situation personally. So for the outcome, we actually got the four of stars. And I know you don't know what the four of stars is. It is four of swords. Um, and remember, the important part about this, because it ties together in the book as well, is this person is coming out of the three of swords. So we're missing a little information here as to what happens from the temperance stepping in to the four of swords. But I really get the vibe that this person, I'm seeing um, Libra energy here as well. So that can be the balance gets restored here. I'm seeing Libra written right in this card. Obviously, four of swords is representing Libra energy strong. But listen to what this says, okay? Four of stars. After a sorrowful world of the three of swords, three of stars, four offers a respite. Following storms and upset, the seeker withdraws for a time to live a hermit-like existence. Here it is possible to live frugally, to take stock of losses, and to prepare for a re-emergence into the world. However, there is also a sense of being banished of having to leave old ways and enter into the new. So everyone that's still here, first of all, thank you because this is such an important message. And if you got anything out of it, please do like. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please do. Because this is, I just can't even explain how really strong, real and strong and really strong this message is. Okay, this talks about this person leaving and it even talks about them feeling banished now. Because remember, who knows what they're leaving? This is not getting into the specifics, but it's definitely a detailed energetic reading as to what's going on with your situation right now. And the cards that clarify it were the temperance. The temperance, it didn't even, it just flipped right over. And I was like, oh, that has to be there. It has to be saying that the temperance has something to do with this. Whoever temperance is, which is angelic forces, has something to do with it. When it talks about this person reassessing what they have so they can move back into the world, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, this person isn't playing. They will do it again. They will be successful again. They will take their power back. And they will always be the adventurer that they are. No doubt in that. Now, I'm just seeing, okay, yeah, the fortitude energy here. I'm like, what is that sticking out um, with the high priestess? So let me know where you're from. Let me know what you thought. This reading for me, I feel, is like top notch. To be honest, I mean, I hope I explained it well, and I hope you got a lot from it. This is the type of reading, once I'm done, I'm going to pick up so much more messages um, I doubt I'm going to be doing any editing or extended, but if I was to, I would put it the link below and it would be on Patreon. Um, I mean, I am tempted to, I just have a class I'm getting ready for right now. So guys, thank you so much and enjoy the weekend.